The NVIDIA 4070 Ti is not without its controversies. Originally announced as the 4080 12GB, the card was promptly canceled and never heard from again, except now it's back with a new name and a slightly lower price tag. Did NVIDIA do enough to make this renamed card worth buying? And which of the partner cards should you be looking at? Starting off with the 4K performance results, and we can see overall the 4070 Ti is good for about 98, 99 FPS on average across all the games, which is a pretty good number, though it is about 10 FPS slower than the 7090 XT, last year's flagship, the 3090 Ti, and only about 2 FPS faster than the 3090. That puts it about 3% faster than the 3090 and about 10% slower than the 7090 XT and the 3090 Ti. That does make the 4080 26% faster, which just goes to show that this card is not a 4080-like card. The 7900 XTX being about 31% faster and the 4090 being a whopping 60% faster. Moving down into 1440p, we are now a little bit tighter since we are CPU limited in a number of scenarios. Now the 4070 Ti is about tied with the 3090 Ti and about 8% faster than the 3090. It didn't make up much ground on the 7900 XT though, with it now being 8% faster, while the XTX and the 4080 being about 20% faster. Moving over into 1080p and now the 4070 Ti is faster than the 3090 Ti by about 4%. This does mean in CPU limited scenarios, the 4070 Ti is probably going to fare a little bit better than the outgoing flagship model, but we are only looking at single digit percentage gains. The rest of the pecking order remains the same with the 7900 XT being 4% faster, the 4080 14% faster tied with the 7900 XTX, and the 4090 rounding out the top being 25% faster. So if you are looking to play at 1080p with high frame rates, the 4070 Ti is a pretty good option. And if you are looking to play with ray tracing at 4K, the 4070 Ti kind of lines up where you'd expect, especially in the NVIDIA lineup. Ray tracing on or off, the 4080 is 26% faster, the 3090 Ti is about 10% faster, and the 3090 is about 5% slower. It does gain on the 7900 XT, now being 7% faster instead of being slightly slower, and the 7900 XTX is still a little bit faster, though not as much. When it comes to energy efficiency, the 4070 Ti is good, but not great. It slows better than the 3090 Ti and the 3090, and even the 6900 XT, but it's right there with the 7900 XT and the XTX, while being less efficient than the 4090 and the 4080. This is somewhat expected since it is a smaller chip running at higher clocks, but it would have been nice to see it closer to the 4080. Luckily, all the partner cards use roughly about the same amount of energy, with this, the Swiss model being the worst offender, so depending on which model you go with, the efficiency might be a little bit higher. Quickly looking at fan noise between all the partner cards, and the efficiency doesn't necessarily correlate with where they are ranking in the terms of fan noise, but overall they all do pretty well, with even the loudest card, the Gigabyte, being quieter than the 3090 Ti. But in terms of performance between all of them, they are all basically the same. You're not going to see anything different, at least in terms of stock clocks, which is really nice since then you can buy whatever's cheapest and still get the same performance. And in terms of value, buying whatever's cheapest might be what's best. At its official MSRP of $800, the 4070 Ti is right in line with the 7900 XT and a much better deal than the RTX 4080. It's still not able to compete with the RX 7900 XTX, but that card retails for a couple hundred dollars more. At the expected retail price of $850, its appeal becomes a little less apparent. You get within $50 of the faster 7900 XT, and the closer you get to that $900 mark, the more it makes sense to upgrade to the 7900 XTX or even the RTX 4080. 
For users already with a 3090 or 3090 Ti, this is not really an upgrade for you. But if your current card is a few generations old, at MSRP or below, the RTX 4070 Ti is a pretty good deal. 